Hey guys, I was just hanging out here in the garage, putting together a couple of extremely minimal packs here. And once they're uh, vacuum sealed, this is pretty much uh, the size of them. Not very big, just good enough for if you're if you have a day pack, if you're going out do a little rock hounding, maybe some metal detecting. You just stuff this in the back of your pack. What's inside here isn't very much. This is just a uh, energy bar, which is, I think it's only 200. And, yeah, it's only 280 calories, but better than nothing. And this is a 55-gallon trash bag. This is 12 feet of cord. That's always handy for something. These here are uh, damp-proof matches. The ones that use always come into MREs. I mean, I got tons of these. This is the uh, GI Issue toilet paper, which we used to call biker paper because it's rough and tough and doesn't take crap from anybody. And let's see what else is in the pile here. 32 stick matches. These are strike on box, not the strike anywhere. But it's something. Three moist towelettes are in here. This is just slightly over two feet of aluminum foil. This is just a couple of uh, compressed towels. I just add water and they just balloon out in towels. This is a 10 milliliter syringe. And even if it's not, you know, needed in this pack, somebody can take this out and put it in another pack because, I mean, if it rains just a little bit and all you're getting is small pools of water on top of some rocks or something like that, or maybe you dig down into a hole and all you're getting is a tiny bit of water coming up through, you can use this to pull the water out and then put it into something like this. These are beverage bags out of MREs. So you can just keep adding the water to here. Then you can take this water, filter it through you know, a cotton t-shirt or you know something you have a bandana and you can always put it into here and put fresh water into another one. And you know it's something for water. This is just a uh, tea candle. Get that out of the way four standard bandages, one larger bandage, a brand new shiny razor blade. Just for people like me that keep cutting themselves with these. That is, you know, it's something to cut with if you have nothing. This doesn't really need to belong in here, but we just happen to have an abundance of these. This is a uh, sort of a Chinese knockoff of a P38 can opener. This is a good thing to have, especially if you're like in the desert southwest or something. If you're already carrying a water container, which you should be if you're out there anyway. It's a carbohydrates and electrolyte powder. Replace what you're sweating away. What did I miss in here? Ah, this. This is a, uh, a whistle, and everybody knows that if, you, if you're lost and you see somebody, you can't yell very, you know, as loud as you, a whistle can go. So you just do three short bursts, and anybody that's into the outdoors or something will know that that's the, the sign that you need help. This has a, uh, well it's in Celsius, but there is a thermometer on this side and a small button compass on this side. Mylar emergency blanket, which is good for shading yourself from the sun. Or if you get end up somehow, something goes wrong, you end up out there out somewhere overnight, you know, you can either make some kind of a small shelter out of this or just wrap up in it to keep warm depending on the temperature. I just tossed in some uh, nerds, a little something to suck on when you got a dry mouth. Same with this. Just a little lifesaver is just something to help you with dry mouth. That's uh, pretty much it. There's not much in here. Like I said, if you're uh, packing around a uh, just a day bag like you should if you're going anywhere away from camp, just something in a kit I mean, not necessarily just like this. This is just happened to be some extra stuff that we had laying around. And I figured I'd make a couple of these and give these away as gifts to a couple of people that I uh, have as subscribers. And um, I, have, I have two right now that I know that might be interested in out hiking out looking at rocks. And I'm making one for one and one for the other. I'm not going to say who they are, and I'm sure they can probably guess who they are. Anyway, that is just what I'm up to out here. Just small packs. I mean, they'll probably throw in their own gear in their bags, their water containers and whatnot, so. Just a little something extra to toss in. But that's all I'm up to out here. Hey, later on, guys.